I happen to believe that art really encompasses both sides of the brain. I find there's a tremendous amount of science and intellectual part in art, but also the artistic part. For me personally, that's part of my attraction to it, is that I find it maximally intellectually stimulating. I feel I'm firing on all cylinders uh, when painting. I used to be a pediatrician and decided to do something different when I was an empty nester. Instead of returning to the practice of medicine after a 17-year absence, I decided to follow my heart and uh, see what all of this yearning for art making was about. I grew up uh, for the first nine years of my life in New Jersey, um, and then after that in Nice, France, and also Villefranche-sur-Mer uh, during the rest of my childhood and also my teen years. The current show that I call A Passion for Provence, I try to have a certain number of landscapes, a certain number of seascapes, and then also I love what I call bateaux, or um, little wooden boats that are unfortunately a vanishing species in southern France. I find that there's an unearthly beauty to Provence, and also a simplicity of life that I find very appealing. As you drive through these incredible vistas, you can look into the fields and see the vegetables that you're going to be eating later for dinner. Or if you're down by the sea, you see the fishermen who are getting the fish that you might be eating for lunch tomorrow, along with the unbelievable profusion of colors, um, just quiet, beautiful landscapes. I find that there's a few locations that really feed inspiration and that I feel immensely drawn to. One is um, the Renoir Museum, because I played there as a kid climbing all the olive trees, getting in trouble playing war games. Uh, and this is why my mother plein air painted with another artist. And a second shrine of sorts is uh, in Saint-Rémy-de-Provence, and it's uh, the psychiatric hospital, actually, where Van Gogh spent a year. I'm paying a tremendous amount of attention to the composition. I'm trying to use science in terms of allowing the viewer to be attracted from across the room to the painting by using really strong light dark contrast. I'm using a lot of color theory as used by the Impressionist. In terms of brushwork, I will never forget learning about Impressionist art from actually one of the masters that I studied briefly with uh, said that Impressionists explore edges and that set me into this frenzy of search about edges, and I have fully embraced that. It allows uh, one to create a sense of depth, but also to help the viewer move around the painting, and it also feeds into showing what's important and what is not. With Impressionist art, or rather with a softer edge, I'm gonna give an A for coloring past the line. As a matter of fact, wildly past the line. And that's just another tool that has great power and significance to show distance and also to help the viewer decide what's important and what's not important. There is a, an adage in medical school that says, see one, do one, teach one. Terrifying in medicine, <laughs> you really think about that. But uh, I think it really works well for teaching. Teaching is a passion uh, for that reason. I feel it's a privilege to be on other people's art journey. I feel it's a privilege to be able to have a community in which to paint and to cheer other people on. And it's something that I try to also um, create around my studio and also with the other people uh, whose art journey I'm sharing on.